RGB video lights. I think these are pretty much essential if you're a photographer, videographer, or pretty much any kind of content creator working in 2021. Now there are tons of RGB lights out there and I can imagine it's really hard if you're someone that's never bought one before to find the right one for you. Well in this video we're taking a look at the Waylight RB9 video light and this retails for around 90 pounds. I actually used this light on a photo shoot recently and if you stick with me on this video you can see those at the end and I'll be showing you some of the photos that I took with this. I actually use two of these and pair them together to create some really interesting lighting effects. So stick around for that. Quick disclaimer, Waylight did send me this to review, but they've not asked me to say anything specific and they haven't paid me for this video. So all the opinions in this are entirely my own. Inside the box, you get a bunch of different accessories with this product. You get a phone holder, a tripod mount, a cold shoe adapter, a silicon soft box, a carry case, and a USB-C charging cable. Now the only real gripe I have with all these accessories is the fact that not everything fits inside the carry case, which kind of makes it a bit redundant because if you want to be taking this around with you, you still need to put stuff outside of the case, just throw it in your bag anyway. Now I do like the fact that all this stuff is included, but that's increasing that price point to £90 and personally I'll probably never use any of these. I'd actually like to see Waylight release a cheaper version of this where all you get is a USB-C cable and the silicon softbox. Personally I'll probably never use any of those other accessories. So looking at the light itself, it has an alloy body, which is fairly sturdy feeling and definitely beats the cheaper LED video lights out there. You know, if you've been making content for a while, you've definitely had these like cheaper plasticky LEDs. I do really like the fact that these do seem to be getting more premium over time. On the back of the RB9, there is an OLED panel. And from here, you can see all your settings as well as your battery life. It has a 3000 milliamp hour battery and Waylight claims that it lasts around two hours at full brightness. And that battery life is really impressive considering we're looking at around 1350 lux per half a meter. I'd say this light gets as bright as some of my big panel LEDs. And for a pocket light, it's really impressive. As I mentioned earlier, I used this on a photo shoot and I must have been shooting for more than two hours. So I can definitely vouch for this lasting a long time if you're using it continuously. You'll have no problem mounting this to light stands or other various accessories as we have a mounting point at the bottom and at the side. Now the silicon softbox is really easy to put on. You just put it over the light, that's pretty much it. And in terms of how it makes the light softer, it definitely does add a bit of softness, but these will never be as good as a proper softbox. There's just not enough distance from the light itself to really soften the light. In saying that, this is better than a lot of silicon softboxes I've used before, and it's still great that it's included. The RB9 has four different lighting modes that you can fully customize and change. The first is CCT, and that's your kind of bi-color mode where you can change from 2500K to 8500K, but also the brightness as well from zero to 100. Then we have HSL, although it says HSI on the website, but it says HSL on the RB9. And this is basically your hue, saturation, luminance. So you can change the hue color and that's done on a degree scale from zero to 360 degrees. And you can change this from red, blue, yellow, orange, you know, whatever color you want. In this setting, you can also change how bright that color is, but you can also desaturate it. And if you desaturate it all the way down, then you basically get a white. Next we have RGBW and this mode's really useful because if you just want to use red, you can just turn up R all the way to the top and you've got red. Now, the one thing that I noticed about this product is that the red is quite weak and I find that this is really common in RGB lights. I don't really know why. If you're, you know, into light science or something and you know the answer to that, please let me know in the comments because it's, this seems to be really common. What you can do though is take this into post and editing and ramp up that red saturation a bit. But I would of course like this to be something that you don't have to rely on in post and just get there on the day. And the last mode that we have is scene. And I don't think I'm really ever going to use these, but you know, if you're on a creative project and you need one of these, I guess it might be useful. There's some interesting effects in here like flames, TV, fireworks, but will I use these? Probably not. And you know, if you want to create a fire scene where you're sitting by the fire, but you don't actually have a fire. I guess this could be useful. I'm probably gonna get loads of comments now from people saying, hey, I use these scene features all the time. They're great. Well, you know, if they work for you, that's good. I personally will never use these, but it is nice to have them and you can change the intensity and the speed of these. Now to access these features, you just have a simple mode and switch button on the side, as well as a plus and minus, which lets you change the values. Now I would say that changing modes and adjusting different values is really easy on the RB9, but if you do find using the buttons difficult, there is actually an app that you can use with the RB9. All you have to do is match the channel settings on your RB9 to the channel settings in the app and you should connect. I actually got sent two of these by Waylight, but only one 
one of them work with the app. A little bit annoying. I'm not sure if maybe I'm doing something wrong. It could be user error, probably is. But that's something to bear in mind. If you get a unit that doesn't work with the app, it may be worth contacting Waylight for a replacement. Now, although everything on the RB9 is customizable in the app, I really don't think I'll be using it much. When I'm on a shoot or I'm using one of these lights, I tend to just use the buttons. I always find having to get my phone out and then go through settings to actually be more complicated than just using the buttons on the light. But I can see how this would be useful because you can actually pair multiple lights to this app. So if you have them in various locations, like they're not near to you and you don't want to have to walk, you know, however far to actually change settings, you can just do it from the app. And in that sense, it's really great. The last feature on the RB9 is the power bank mode. This is really useful if you want to charge your phone on the go. But to be honest, with only a 3000 milliamp hour battery, if you've been using this on a shoot, you're probably not going to have that much battery left by the end. But if you need to use it in an emergency, it's still good to have that feature. Before I come to the conclusion of this review and kind of wrap things up, I do want to show you some of the photos that I've actually taken with this RB9, because I do feel like a lot of these reviews on RGB lights kind of skim over actual practical use. But I want to quickly show you some photos that I've actually taken with the RB9. So let's have a look. So those photos were taken using two RB9 units using complementary and contrasting colors. I think that that's where these will really come in handy. To be honest, if you're interested in getting an RB9, I would recommend getting two or more just so you can create some really interesting lighting setups. So overall, I think the RB9 is actually a great little RGB light. I would like to see a cheaper version of this that doesn't include so many of the accessories. It's also a bit of a shame that only one of my units works with the app. As I said though, I probably won't be using the app that often, but that is a bit of a concern with quality control. In spite of those few negatives though, I do think this is a great RGB light. It's really well built. And in terms of being able to create really artistic and interesting images, I think these will be great for that. So that pretty much brings me to the end of this review. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. It really helps out the channel and, you know, share this with your friends if you think they'd be interested in it. If you have any comments or questions about this product, feel free to leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe and hit that little alert button as well, as it'll tell you when I've uploaded something new. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.